I just broke my electronics learning lab. Time to fix it. <clears throat> this is my electronics learning lab, and I bought it at Radio Shack about two years ago. And I have been having a problem where it has not been working properly. So I decided to pull it apart and see what is wrong with it. So, I've already figured out the problem, but I will show you the inside since I do not believe that there's another video showing the inside of the electronics learning lab. So, you open it up there, and inside are all of the components. So, you have all the potentiometers there, there's the power switch, there's the battery holder, that's where the problem is. Um, also, you have all your front panel LEDs, you have your uh, numeric 7 segment LED display there, there's the, uh, there's that analog milliamp meter, you have your photo cell, your buzzer, also there's the speaker, all the buttons, the back of the breadboard, your transformer, the switch, and I think that's just about everything. I've had to take this thing apart before because a wire broke off inside there, so it's very easy to take apart. There are eight screws that hold it together. Just use a standard Phillips head screwdriver to pull them out. So when I pulled this thing apart, I found my problem to be the ground wire is not fastened properly. It's not showing up very well. And there's also tension on it, which isn't helping. But, I can pull it off. The solder joint broke. So, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to try to fix that. So, you're not gonna be able to see this the greatest, but, I'm going to simply re-solder this to fix it. I don't know how common of a problem this is. It might happen to many people. Mine might be an exception to the rule. I don't know. This is the only problem I've ever had. Now the whole, the whole thing was held up by that single wire, so. Now we got a slightly bigger problem. <laughs> A physical connection with the wire. I, re -wrap, I wrapped it around the battery connector. I think that might have actually fixed it right there. I think that would probably work, but there you go on the cautious side. Here we go. Got to solder back up. Right there is where I repaired it. So, the wire broke off there. Just re-soldered it, and that should fix my problem. I'm going to put the case back on. case doesn't fit together the great, it's just kind of, it's just difficult to get the edges to line up. But when they do, yeah, the thing works. This is using a relay as a buzzer. Um, really simple circuit. I was just playing around with this thing today, and it stopped working. So, I fixed everything now, and the whole thing should work. So, if your electronics learning lab stops working, you're not getting any power from it, I would suggest pulling it apart, and probably looking for a broken wire somewhere in there. So that solved my problem. I hope this helps, and I hope to see you back here in the near future with many more videos.